when the novelty of marriage is over, will he love me still? This right here is a question for a man to ask, not the woman. Today's topic, part two, part two of questions a woman should ask before marriage. But actually, let me actually just go back and check to make sure it is exactly what it is. Oh, questions a girl should ask before marriage. So, we just looked at part one earlier, or before, and we saw certain questions that are very important. And these questions, they cater to the women. Before that, we looked at the men's part, what the men should look for in a wife. But now it's about the women, what a woman should want to know before marriage. And it's very important to have these questions answered before you get married because after marriage, then it could be irrelevant for the situation. But without further ado. a plant that needs culture okay let the woman who desires a peaceful happy union who would escape future misery and sorrow inquire before she yields her affection has my lover a mother that's a great question what is the stamp of her character who does he recognize his obligations to her is he mindful of her wishes and happiness? If he does not respect and honor his mother, will he manifest respect and love, kindness and attention towards his wife? When the novelty of marriage is over, will he love me still? Uh oh. Will he be patient with my mistakes or will he be critical, overbearing and dictatorial? dictatorial. True affection will overlook many mistakes. Love will not discern them. LYL 24.1. Now here's the thing though. So far those questions are very good. Um, does he have a mother? You know, um, yes. Um, does he have a mother? Yes, that's a good question because you need to know if he's, if he's a strong man and also does he have emotions? Because you know that mothers are the ones that, that give the emotional aspect to their children, to their boys. Uh, does he love her mother? Does he respect her mother? Does he try to make her mother happy? Those are great questions because it tells what that, what kind of man that is. And if he wants her, his mother to be good and happy, then more likely he's going to do the same for his sister, if he has any sister, and his girlfriend or fiance or wife. That's great questions. But now here's the problem that I have, because nowadays, this is the opposite. <sighs> when the novelty of marriage is over, will he love me still? This right here is a question for a man to ask, not the woman. Here's why. Actually, let me get some water before I even get there. We have to understand that part very clearly. Nowadays, now it, so when I grew up, when I was growing up, I always, I always knew that the man would leave her, his wife, and because he wanted to go and have another wife and cheat and all that. I came to find out it is not the case most likely anymore now because apparently women now are divorcing their husband just because they feel like it. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, 
the the maybe that question I may have to have somebody else with me to to give more understanding because I have never been married. Actually, I've never had a girlfriend, so I couldn't have been married anyways. But from what I understood is, women are, I forgot what the term is, uh, where, they sep where the woman decides to separate her husband with her husband just because she feels like it. And we, if a woman were to ask, is he going to love me after the novelty of marriage is over? My question is, why are women are the one divorcing their husband? 80% of divorce are made by women. 80%. So that question right here is not appropriate for a woman to ask in this day of age. Now, back in the, eight, in the what, 1844, 1890, and 1900, maybe, maybe, because, like, yes, maybe, that I, in those times, I could understand. Or in the time of Jesus Christ, that would be a great question to ask, because remember, one of the people asked Jesus Christ, is it okay for any for men to divorce his wife for any reason? That's a good that's a good thing I have to ask a question like that. Will he love me after the novelty of marriage is over? But now it should be me as a man asking, Will she love me? Will she not will she try to divorce me and get child support and alimony and ruin my life? And these are the questions that or now I will be asking. That question is more for the men at this time than for the women. And I'm speaking in this country, the United States of America. In other countries, it might be the opposite. But in this country, that question is for the men. But let's move on. Let a young woman accept as a life companion, only one who possesses pure, manly, oh, manly traits of character, one who is diligent, diligent, aspiring, and honest, one who loves and fears God. LYL 24.2. As I mentioned, my masculinity, I'm gonna keep it. You see, um, some. Women have been brainwashed by feminism, uh, saying that when a man displays his masculinity or his manhood or his manly character, he has a toxic masculinity. Well, let me put it that way. I have a toxic masculinity in that sense because I would not give it to a woman. Um, women are looking for a man who is a leader. A woman is looking for a man who is manly, not emasculate, not emasculated, nor effeminate. She is looking for a man who can take control, who is going to stand his ground, whether she storms, she screams, she gets angry. He will stay the same way. And, and this is the thing about being a man. A woman will, even if she hates your character, meaning like she hates that you are stubborn, that she wants it your way, she will always respect you as a man, instead of you just agreeing with, agreeing with whatever she says. And those are some tests that women throw at men. They try to do certain things to see if he's going to be a man and stand his ground, or if he's going to give up his manhood and give it to her. And no woman wants to become manly. Or well, except if you are those strong, independent women. I can do it all by myself. Feminist type women. That's a different story because they don't get married. If you are that kind of woman, please just start buying 27 cats and go die alone. Because you're not going to get a man. Unless you get a man who is not a man. 
and you, you, can, you can just control and that man you're gonna resent anyways so you're not gonna be happy anyways but for the most part women want a man who has many traits of character yes those are men that women would fight for to get because they know they're rare to have now before we're gonna end right here before the letter so we're gonna have a letter like last time we had a letter we had a letter for the men now this is a letter for a woman so we're gonna read that last paragraph right here and we're gonna end it and we're gonna have part three at the beginning of the letter so let's move on this letter to nelly looks at some of the same questions as the earlier one to rolf remember rolf and looking for edit wanted to marry edit yes the crowd she is associating with is not good her special friend is irreverent uh oh that's not good lazy that's the modern women and uses foul language as well okay that is okay now oh, hold on hold on hold on other habits are questionable also Ellen White asks some very straightforward questions that might well apply to you as you read this letter. L Y L 24.3. Now, I have a problem with women that use, not just women, people in general that use foul languages. I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm like, I even tell them, can't you not make a sentence without cursing in it? Or can you make a sentence without cursing? And sometimes I'm with some of the students and they start sp and I try to ask them, so what, what are you here for? And, and they start like, oh, no, 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 and they use a uh, bad word. I was like, okay, hold on, stop. I want you to make a sentence without cursing. And men do they struggle. They struggle to make a sentence without cursing. Because they've been growing up with listening to music, watching TV, playing video games online with other people who cuss a lot and therefore they start having those traits of character. So when you when they are speaking to some to somebody, they cannot make a sentence without cussing. If this is the woman that is looking for a man, I would not marry that woman at all no and i would hope that no woman marries meaning and, and i'm speaking in a christian mindset no woman marries a man who has that kind of things been cursing all the time foul languages is unacceptable irreverent and lazy wow okay that's the <sighs> I think many, many, many a mother is teaching their young children to become lazy now. I think we looked at that in the video called um, Wife Swap, where the black, where the white lady was saying, wow, she should have the children help out more in the kitchen because he, she said, in her, she said that she doesn't want anybody in the kitchen. And I was like, wow. No, she should, and the other lady said, yeah, she should let her children help out more. Because that means they all won't be lazy when they get older. They will know how to make their bed. They will know how to cook a meal. They will know how to clean a house. They will be practical in life. They will have, they will have practical life uh, duty that they can do. That can keep the house clean and functioning. But who am I except for messenger so guys that's it for today I hope to see you guys again until then Mario out